Hey everybody, how's it going? I am back and I have another razor that someone sent me. And uh, this comes from a guy, his name is Rudy Signs, and he's a good guy, uh, up and coming collector, and he loves slants. Um, for those of you who don't know it, a slant razor is different than a normal razor because the head is actually slanted. If you can see that, the, the guard bar here comes down. And it's the same way on the other side. It's just sort of a mirror image. Um, but uh, how this works, this is a Hoffritz slant and um, comes in a box, a silver box like this and a couple blade, uh, blade banks in there. And then the razor just sits right in there. Really nice set, beautiful set. Rudy sent this to me and, uh, to check out. And um, wonderful set, and uh, I'd be lying to you if I told you that I hadn't shaved with it before. I had to shave real quickly before a meeting, and I said, I'm just going to try this out. Um, one thing that amazed me about this was the smoothness of the shave. Um, it was just incredible, absolutely incredible. And um, it's a two-piece razor, so as you undo the bottom, um, it doesn't come out. Okay, that is supposed to stay in there. There are some of these that are three-piece razors. This is a two-piece. Um, but then uh, the blade is on here and I will be using my handy, trusty uh, Gillette Blue Blade. And there's a little bit of crud on there from when I shaved last, but that's okay. Um, but you just put that right on there, put it right on the post, and you just drop that post in, and then you just twist. And um, good alignment. You can see um, the blade exposure there. You can also see how it's slanted. Some people see these in like um, an antique shop or something and they think, oh, it's broken, it's bent, something like that. <laughs> you can't bend a safety razor to look like this. It has to be manufactured that way. Um, so what I've done is, um, I'm just gonna, I shaved a couple days ago, um, so I'm not gonna do uh, multiple passes. I'm gonna do one pass with the grain and then I'm going to do um, just a little bit of cleanup, that's all. But have my uh, Blades Grim Smolder here, one of my favorite soaps. And obviously I already worked up a lather in it. Also I have this beautiful mug. Um, it's a glass mug and it actually has a a clear bottom. You can see the soap in there, but it's gold. And I've not been able to find any information on this. This was given to me as a gift from a friend. And um, if anybody has any information on a mug like this, let me know. Maybe some of my new friends in the Shave Mug Society, I don't know. But, <clears throat> you know, um, a lot of you have heard me talk about the Gillette slide. And there's two ways that you can do the Gillette slide. Either you can slide it diagonally across your face, like that, okay? Or you can hold the razor at an angle and then bring it straight down. With these slants, you don't need to do that. That basically is the Gillette slide um, in the razor head. It's just built for it. And so it gives you a really, really smooth shave. And. Um, just does a really good job of hacking through the growth. I don't know if you can hear that chatter or not. Man, yeah, I mean it just whacks through. Very good razor, very smooth razor. Um, I would not call it an aggressive razor, although some people think just because it looks sort of odd or it's slanted, they think it's going to be a, a wicked razor. Um, when I was preparing for my meeting, I had to shave, and I did a really quick three-pass shave. So I did with the grain, then against the grain, then across the grain with cleanup. And uh, very, very, very little irritation on my neck, and I usually get a lot of irritation there when I go against the grain with certain razors. This razor, no.
Um, this razor is just a smooth razor. Uh, I don't have any complaints. Um, obviously it's a two-piece, it is not adjustable. So if you like adjustable razors, this one does not adjust. However, with a razor this great, you don't need an adjustment. Um, this is a tremendous, tremendous razor. And for those of you wondering out there, you've probably seen a lot of razors that look like this under different names. Maybe Henkel's, Cole's, Merkur, Alfred's, um, and there are others. They're all the same razor, same patent, same design. They're all two-piece razors. <clears throat> there are some three-piece <clears throat> examples out there, but they're all basically the same razor. And uh, just marketed under different names, different brands. Um, this one is a Hoffritz. And I'll tell you what. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup here. But I'm done. It's a smooth shave. Let me just wipe this soap off here. Very smooth shave, no irritation. Um, it's not BBS, but I wasn't going for BBS because I don't do that every day. Um, but this, this is a tremendous razor, the Hoffritz Slant. Thank you very much to Rudy Signs, and uh, I greatly appreciate it, and I'll get this back to you soon. Um, but uh, this is a wonderful experience, I highly recommend it. By the way, um, the modern day Merker 37C is based on this, and I have not shaved with it. Um, but I'm actually, I've got one on order, so um, when it comes in, I will be able to give you a performance review. But um, from what I've heard, the Merker 37C, which is also a slant razor, but it's a new manufacturer slant, uh, shaves just as well, if not better than this. And so as soon as I get it, I'll let you know. But um, in the meantime, I hope that you all have a great day. Shave on! Hmm. <sighs>